Yeah, I just want to say this, uh, talking about the Rangers real quick. The Rangers remind me a lot, a lot of the United Kingdom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect that. Welcome back to Beyond the Diamond, July 4th edition. We got Garrett, Noah, we are off-site today. This episode is powered by Big City Wings, Big City Wings, Houston's Wing Joint, Apollo's Wing Joint. Uh, hopefully throughout the weekend you've been doing their 4th of July specials and today as well. If not, make sure you get their weekly specials and find the nearest Big City Wings near you at BigCityWings.com. Once again, Houston's Wing Joint and Apollo's Wing Joint. Boys, Stroh's take three or four in South Oklahoma. Needed that. Needed Man, it. Oh my God. Like, maybe the biggest series of of the year so far, I'd say. I mean, it's it's huge because we're, we're hot on their ass. We're kind of finding our way a little, finding our groove. And to go in there with, I mean, mostly rookie pitchers. And to take mm. three out of four is just humongous, humongous. Yeah, I think, you know, when we previewed this on a couple episodes ago, I said if we can go in and get a sweep, obviously that's great. But if we walk away 3-1, that's a huge win. Um, and that's exactly what happened. Um, and and like Garrett mentioned, really the young pitchers, these rookie pitchers that we're just putting out on the mound, they're going 5-6, allowing one run. Sean Dubin, um, Run Blanco, Blanco, Blanco J.P. France, uh, obviously Hunter got some action in, um, I believe. So, um, you know, you know, Big time, big time, big time plays for the boys, and I'm loving it. Yeah, I think uh, our our good friend, you know, cinema f- freak, just the guy who's never into baseball, Dex got into it over the weekend, mm-hmm. and he he summed it up perfect with his tweet: Astros roster is held together with duct tape, duct tape in a dream, and they went in and took three games in their house. Okay. Um, I think I think that's huge, and I think Dex drilled it with a tweet to getting a lot of retweets and likes. Uh, the Ranger fans are in his comments right now, but uh, yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. And all these rookies have stepped up. Um, they're pitching not like rookies. Uh, the bullpen's been nails to end the road trip, and the offense. Uh, Kyle Tucker with batting gloves is mm. legitimately Ted Williams. I mean, yeah. Oh my god! I mean, Kyle Tucker. Like, st- stay tuned for maybe he's might be in contention for Dog of the Week this week. I don't know, but yeah, um, Ooh, I, like I mean. That. Yeah, he could be, but I have another guy. But, golly, man, the the offense, you know, it, it's starting to come alive when we need it to. I feel like that's something we were lacking at times this season. You know, clutch hitting, I feel like it wasn't there. Guys that kind of, like, I wouldn't say disappear, but, you know, when when it matters most, you know, they, they fly out, ground out, whatever. But big hits, a lot of big hits this road trip. You know, a ton of big hits, like, to Kyle, like you know, Kyle Tucker. Yeah. Also, I want to give a shout out to you know Jose Abreu. You know, getting a lot. Hey, he of, dropped his hands, huh? Yeah, he get, dropped his hands. <laughs> he dropped his hands. Getting a lot of shit this season, and he came in to this series. Obviously, you know, playing well lately. Came into the series ready to help out, and I mean, got Leah. You know, yesterday's game what was a four fifty three rocket launched the ball. Yeah, I didn't think he had that. Did not think he had that in him still. Goodness gracious. I mean, we saw this shit in spring training. Like he he made a ball disappear. Mm-hmm. Like he yeah. Hit a- and it just disappeared, and I went, "Where the fuck? Where did it go? Did it yeah. explode? What happened?" <laughs> yeah. He's—I mean, he showed that in March. Like, he didn't just go away. He just had yeah. to find it again. You know? Yeah, and, and I think it's just kind of the story of the season. You had Mauricio Dubon be the hero uh, that first game. You have Chas McCormick when he plays; he shows that he should be the starter every single day. And you just have all these other dudes stepping up outside of the the Tucker, the Bregmans, the Altuve. So that's really good to see uh, as we you know go into the All Star break and go into the second half of the season. Uh, winning that first game five three felt like we stole that one. Uh, the Dubon game it felt like uh, I was in New Orleans, so I missed that game. I was following on my phone and just seeing Mauricio Dubon pop up on my phone was was pretty damn cool to see. Um, and then. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, the guy's lot. been nails. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. I love it. Yeah, I mean, and, and I know we we've, we've we've joked about it online, but he legitimately deserves some some all star votes, and and for him not to be be on the ballot was outrageous. Yeah, I, I wish, man. I wish he would have, but there's just no no damn way anybody would vote in Mauricio Dubon, especially especially because he's on the Astros because he didn't get yeah. he didn't get voted in. Yeah. 
Well, I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna write him in to the Apollo All Star game. Oh yes, him. yes, absolutely. He he might be first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. He got the votes. He got the votes. Uh, yeah. And then hey, Nate, you've already shoved uh, game two. Sometimes that's what happens in baseball. Yeah. I mean, um, it's, I found that interesting because uh, I remember the times we've hung out with Bregman. Uh, I think someone asked him like about a certain pitcher and he kind of like he I mean maybe like the filthiest pitcher he's gone against and he he comes taken back by a little bit and he thought and he went Evaldi's got some stuff man mm. Evaldi's got some stuff and brags for him to say that in private I mean it's not like yeah. I'm leaking it right now but he said like yeah Evaldi's got shit man like it's hard to hit against him and he showed that on Saturday yeah, so, yeah. I'm not surprised that he that was the game that we lost mm-hmm. yeah we were gonna yeah, lose I think with the way Evaldi's yeah. been this year, if we're going to lose one of them, Evaldi's been yeah. fucking nails this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and like you just mentioned about Bregs, he's respected around the league. So, you know, if we're going to drop one, that's fine. Um, I'm just happy we were able to, we were able to get the other three because we needed them. But yeah. Well, also, I think the the whole scope of it was like I was okay going with the split. So get out this weekend with the split. It's it's no no blood, and and just get back home. Because I think I think we all notice as fans that the boys are gassed, the yeah. arms are gassed, so just we're leaking oil right now a bit. But they're still putting quality at bats together, they're stringing innings together, and they're competing. And that's all you can ask for with your team. And, and we we have this running joke so far on the season that I don't. We've been so privileged and blessed for the last seven years of the golden age that forty seven and thirty eight is not a bad record. No, it's not, dude. People would. It's not a bad record. Who would kill? Can you imagine Red Sox fans right now? They're like, "Oh my god, I wish it was that close to the first, first of my division." Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're. It, we seem like this is so shitty, but in fact, there's a bunch of teams that are like, "God damn it, those still those guys still, man." Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and I, I think there's a lot of teams that would trade spots with us, knowing that you have a Jordan Alvarez coming back, you have a Jose Urquidy coming back, you have a GM that's is adamant he's making moves. Yeah. And he's going to make trades that makes this team better. So um, that's the positive. Uh, going into the Sunday game, uh, the news of Framber Valdez um, hurting his ankle, we kind of got that scoop. Um, we were kind of worried. And then we were like, okay, all the reports are, you know, we're, we're not panicking. And yeah. so um, he'll miss a start. But you jump right into a, a, a rookie bullpen game. And you got to be thinking like this is chalk boys like this isn't good, yeah. And and Dubin just just steps up and gives you a solid four. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that was that was incredible. Because I secretly in the back of my head I was like, all right, well, you know, this is going to be one of those games. Either he he nails for four or five innings, gives up one run, or he get we'd smoked. You know, yeah. we lose by ten runs, and yeah. you know, obviously it didn't go the second option. I was excited for the, the Dubin start. Obviously, I, I wasn't. Ex- I didn't really have high expectations, but from what I'd seen from him, I liked his stuff. I liked what I saw yeah. whenever he was coming in. Um, you know, he didn't look like a chump. He didn't look like you know. He, you know, he had some some stuff, and I you know. So I was excited to see it, and I couldn't be happier with how it worked out. You know, um, and did we send him down? Yeah, we sent him down for Belak. But yeah, to bring it back to Belak, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But I, I hope he gets, you know, a chance to get back up here because I think after after that start, he deserves more more chances to be on the bump going forward. Yeah, for season. sure. And it's another game led by Dubon, Abreu, and Chaz McCormick. Um, McCormick having the late triple late to to bust the game open. Um, all of a sudden, you, the Rangers are are coasting. You you think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna win this rookie, you know, bullpen game? And boom! All of a sudden, the Astros secure at least a split um that was huge naris has been nails presley's been nails i am a little bit worried about how much our bullpen's being used a lot of the guys are not going deep yeah. um it's not yeah. that also, uh, years yeah, that also, it's a lot of work a lot of innings yeah a lot of work I mean, um that's that's what that's what happens when you play maybe one of the best offenses in baseball though you know you got to burn through your arms yeah you know, there's a slug especially fest. in a four game series like it's it's gonna happen especially in a slug fest like yesterday yeah, dude. That yeah. Was, yeah that was a lot yeah of, when it's taxing we can jump into this last one this chaos of this game um what were you what was y'all's thoughts and vibes uh 
God. So we're, we jump back to the game. <laughs> we're, we're watching in the office. And, uh, I mean, obviously up 10-2, I made that equalizer meme. <laughs> And, I'm, and then I showed it to Noah. He went, post that right now. <laughs> then the fifth inning came. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then and, you know, all of a sudden it was 10-9. I was like, you know, I don't even care. This is doing numbers, dude. I don't care. Nah, dude. I, doing I, I was like, this is fucking, dude. If, I, if we lose, there's so many bookmarks on this tweet already. People are going to – those are all Rangers fans. Yeah, those are all yeah, Rangers 100%. fans, dude. Yeah. And uh, they made it 10-10. In the mid eleven ten, and I was like, "Fuck me! Are you serious, dude?" <laughs> hey, those guys—they have those big. Those guys have my back, especially this guy right here, Chaz- Chazzy. He big hit again, man. Big hit, the big big double to take That's the, the man. Yeah. That is the man. I am such a fan of Chaz. I'm loving what yeah. he's doing. And, and and Presley, as of late, he's been nailed. So mm-hmm. once we took that lead, and I knew Presley was coming in, I was yeah. like, "All right, I think yeah. our teams are pretty good now." It's it's unique because you have a game where the Astros just take it to them early. Uh, Tuck with the grand slam, Diaz with and Chaz with bombs early. Uh, you get up and you give Christian Javier this cushion, and he just gives it right back. And that guy is he looks worn down. He looks gas. The mechanics are off. He's missing arm side, missing high side. Um, yeah. That's something they'll fix. I think maybe a ghost IL stint and this All Star break is going to help him. To get yeah. right, he'll, he'll find that eight, nine, you know, punchy game that we're, we're accustomed to seeing. Um, but look, they could have easily folded. Look at these guys after giving up that lead could have easily folded, and oh. they didn't. Um, Breaks of that tough error, um, gave them, you know, got the guy to move up. They get the sack fly. It's 11 10. But man, going that last inning, it, it really felt like uh, with Tuck, Bregman, and Bray, you do up. I was like, I, we have a puncher's chance. Like, you just got to land one punch. Yeah. Um, and they did. They landed, actually landed two. So um, Abreu once again, just man, I mean, it, it feels it feels good to be validated a little bit. It may be a flash <laughs> of the pan, maybe a mirage, but right now it feels good, boys. It feels good I to be on the the right side of the Abreu history. I mean, yeah, we're on the. Hey, well, he's been steadily he's been steadily getting better since he you know first signed with a, or when he first on the opening day. And I mean, he what he's got an eight something OPS in June and so far in July he has like a 900 OPS and I know it's only been a few games in July but god he was hitting the shit out of the ball yesterday yeah I mean if he's gonna hit piss missiles like that I don't care if he has some off weeks or like if he's off in it, but if he's gonna come back especially in a big series like this I don't yeah no that's my fucking guy and I, I'm, I'm so excited that he's getting it turned around and I mean I knew he would we knew we would. Uh, well, I mean, come on. Yeah. Apollo was always right, dude. Yeah. Apollo was always right. We weren't worried about this. Well, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other thing, and, and I know you guys are Moneyball guys, so you can you can talk about the aggregate, but with Jordan Alvarez going down, to see Abreu step up, mm-hmm. to see Chaz emerge, to see Dubon keep doing what he's doing, Altuve's, you know, when he's, when he's playing, he's killing it. Kyle Tucker's killing it. Bregg's killing it. So to see these guys step up, knowing that the big guys been down, it was like I think it was like twenty seven percent of the offense at one point of the season. Yeah. So you need to really feel those shoes, and they they have been. I, I think not to the extent of like Jordan Alvarez, but yeah, you I'm, take what what what's been happening. Well, the big guy, you know, Jordan is kind of like you mentioned twenty seven percent of the offense for a while. It seemed like he was our safety blanket. The other guys yeah. knew that. Well, if I can't get it done, the big guy's going to go up there and figure it out. And that hasn't been the case, and there's been struggles. And then few guys on the team have had to be like, all right, I got to step up. I got to be the one. Yeah. And they have. And it's been Dubon. It's been Abreu. It's been Chaz. It's been a bunch of different guys. Um, and so when he comes back, and then if those guys keep that mentality and keep playing the way they're playing, plus Jordan in the lineup, oh, my goodness. Mm. Yeah. I mean, when Jordan went down, I feel like a lot of guys were just trying to too hard to be the hero. Mm. You know, there were. You know, there was a lot of ups and downs in the offense and just too many guys just being like, it's all on me. You know, it's not all on you. There are other great hitters in the lineup. And I feel like now they get that. And that's why they, you Synergy. know, and that's why in Javier's past three starts, they put up 30, over 30 <laughs> runs. That's fucking great. <laughs> a lot of runs. I they mean, bailed out that 7-1 record. <laughs> what, what 10 run curves, dude? We put up, what, yeah. 10 runs against Cardinals? 14 runs the next day, and then one against the Rangers the next day. So, like, what? And, and to start it all off, that last Sunday game against the Dodgers, you won an extra innings game. 
for the first yeah. time all season. So we broke a lot of curses this past week. Yeah. And that's we, only is this I, the broken curse episode? The broken curse episode. Breaking curses. We, we did it, guys. We won the extra innings. To, we we won. all did it together. We did it, guys. Dude, yeah, we're, we, we're, we're, we're just, so back. We're just as important. We're so back. Yeah, we're yeah. so back. Cool. So back. Um, yeah, this will just be the end of this episode. We'll do another full Beyond the Diamond in studio later on in the week with the full segments. Um, but just want to do an emergency pop-up episode, 4th of July edition. This will probably go out either today or tomorrow. But uh, what are what are your... Uh, so this is past us. But future self will look at past self of us on Friday. What do you yeah. think the Astros are going to do against the uh, Rockies? Uh, so it's a mini series, correct? It's two games. Two games. Yeah, yeah, it's two, and then and then Seattle for four. All right. So um, starting I, Thursday. I mean, I think I know B likes pitching today. JP France tomorrow. I think that's. I think we sweep. But Rockies are bad, dude. Rockies are bad. We're hot right now, and I feel like there's just. I feel like now we're so, since we're so close to the Rangers. There's just no way right now we're losing to the Rockies before All Star break. We're we're trying to get there, man. And I mean, I know we're doing one on Friday probably, but I think uh, I think we win at least four games in this upcoming stretch. We go four two, mm, at like least, that. yeah, five yeah. one probably. So I'm just gonna say up until Friday's game, which Friday's a seven ten start uh, against the Mariners at, at the at Minute Maid. Um, I, I don't think we lose a game. Uh, in the next four, at least, I think we go four, and I think I don't Ooh. think we lose the Rockies at all. That's, There's no reason. That's spicy. That's I spicy. I like that's though. spicy. I don't. Th- I think. I think the bats are hot. We just beat one of the better teams in the league. We got the Rockies and the Mariners, who are both struggling. You know, yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that we we go four and zero in the next four. And, and rather interesting, I think I believe the uh, Rangers start a three game series in Boston today. Mm. You know how. Before is mm-hmm. you know so maybe they can we can sneak a few we, maybe we can get within one maybe by the all-star break we're in first place we're in first place by the Who all-star knows? break Ooh, wow okay i think today's a trap game T- today feels very trappy coming off that w- win and that energy i'm just glad that happened up Look, in no. south oklahoma it's a short drive short flight down so at least the boys can get grounded a little bit um yeah. if there's a long travel you could see it being kind of being worn down a bit um but yeah, I think I think a lot of pressure's on the Rangers right now. A lot. I feel like they feel that the the shirt getting a little tight around the neck. Uh, the breathing gets a little heavy. And we've been here before. This is what the Astros do. Uh, they take you out in the deep end, and they're like, "Hey, you want to swim?" So they feel, they feel Denzel turning the gun around on them. They did. No. They did yeah. the whole equalizer. I'm, I'm um, but yeah, any last thoughts? Anything else? Yeah, I just want to say this. Uh, talking about the Rangers real quick. The Rangers remind me a lot, a lot of the United Kingdom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> of the of the British monarch, they remind me a lot. They think they're just, they think they're hot shit. They're ready to hang a banner at sixty games in the end of the season. They were ready. They were ready. Even at eighty one. Like, I feel like the Houston Astros feel like a little bit of a. You know, the British are coming. The British are coming. Let's, let's let's it's time to start. I like this. Shit. I it's like time this. to take back over. Yeah, I you know like what I mean? this. All this right. is where the, today mm. we declare our independence. Yeah, independence, and we're taking back the AL West like it's ours, and we're the motherfucking powerhouse of the world. Bill Pullman doing a speech. Bill yeah, Bill Pullman doing a <clears throat> speech, and we With will the- be in first place by All Star break. Don't quote me on that. That's a good. That's a good Bill. That's a good William. Yeah, yeah, he was talking in that kind of, yeah, yeah, for sure. I was, you know, good. movie. It's a hot dog, burgers, Astros, and beer type of day, boys. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, and wings. Wings. Thank you. Big City Wings. Powered by uh, Big City Wings. Houston's wing joint, Apollo's wing joint. Um, yeah, go out, grab some. I mean, look, you can get wings or burgers or drink specials, everything there. Um, it's literally the best. And so uh, we'll be out there soon. Uh, other than that, boys, we will do uh, another episode in later on in the week, and you guys go enjoy your pool party, and uh, hopefully we get an Astros dub. Yeah, and uh, we will. We yeah. will, and you, uh, you, audience, have a safe and fun uh, Fourth of July and rest of your week, man. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. and don't, like, with fireworks, I mean, I, this would, you're probably watching this after you pop fireworks. Just don't throw, like, don't put them in your hands. Like, yeah, Jason, hey. do that. 
look up Jason Pierre-Paul. JPP. Yeah, yeah look we'll at Jason Pierre-Paul, and then you'll know why. Yeah. Still awesome. do that. Just don't do that. That's Early. just us giving little little gu- guidelines for the 4th of July. All right. Um, all right. Drink a cold one, boys, and we'll see you uh, later on in the week. We'll see you later. See you. Peace. Love you guys. Watch out, Shrews. Thank you.